Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, the 12th of March, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Theophanes. Theophanes, he lived during the 8th century, he was an abbot. Saint Theophanes grew up uh, under the guardianship of Emperor Constantine the Fifth, his father having died early, leaving him a heir to a large estate. He was induced to marry the daughter of a Byzantine partition, but the marriage remaining unconsummated by mutual consent, he joined the monks of Polycrocrian, where his wife became a nun. He then founded monasteries and served as abbot at Mount Sigriana on the shores of Sea of Marmara between Crisius and Kermasti River. In 787, he was invited to take part in the Second Council of Nicaea, Turkey, why, which sanctioned the use and reverence of sacred images. But in 814, the Armenian Emperor Leo V uh, reversed the policy and strove to suppress the cult of images. Theophanes ranged himself against Leo's iconoclastic policy and paid to heed to his threat. Thus, after after receiving 300 stripes, he was thrown into a dungeon for two years, deprived of bare necessities of life. He fell severely ill and was exiled to the island of Somatres in Greece, where he died on 12th March 817. He is venerated as saint both of Greek and Latin rite churches. He was the author of an important chronicle composed between 810 to 814 at the suggestion of his friend George Sinchelus. It covers the period between 284 to 813. His chronicle, along with that of Nicephorus I, Patriarch of Constantinople, highlights the principal Byzantine historical source for the 7th and 8th century. Dear brothers and sisters, Theophanes was someone who stood for church against iconoclasm. Iconoclasm is when the Islam faith was prevalent in East, that is in Greece and all those regions, uh, people started believing in iconoclasm, that is destruction of icons. Uh, he who stood for the faith of the church, he defended the faith of the church and for which he died. Amen.